Last few tools in the toolbar here. Uh, we've got the pen tool, the hand tool, and the zoom tool. The pen tool, what this does, um, and I pretty much never use this, and the reason why is because I use shortcuts um, as opposed to the pen tool. Uh, and we'll show you those, future, those uh, um, shortcuts in a future episode as we get into more advanced uh, editing and advanced features here. But what the pen tool does is, um, as long as you have your, um, the, as long as you can see these lines here, this line here, the opacity line, and uh, the audio lines here, uh, they're they're called keyframes. Actually, you get you've got the if you do this little toolbar and bring this down, you'll say you'll see this little check mark here. Sometimes this might be unchecked. If you do, it will no longer show those lines. By default, it does show these, uh, but if they're missing for some reason, you can hit show keyframes. Or the track height might not be high enough. If your track height is collapsed, I just hit Shift minus to collapse the tracks. You'll notice the audio um, keyframe line disappears. If you hit Shift plus, it, it uh, brings all the track heights higher to kind of a standard height here. And uh, sometimes this one won't be showing either. I think by default it doesn't show on Premiere. Um, if you hit this little wrench here, um, just make sure Show Video Keyframes is checkmarked. If it's not, it won't be visible. Same as the audio keyframes. If that's not checkmarked, it's gone. Um, but you need to, to to use the pen tool. You'll need to have either your video keyframes activated, and or your audio keyframes activated. Uh, once you do, you'll see these lines here. And what this is is your volume control on your audio. You grab this, you turn it up and down. We'll get into this when we get into sound mixing. But this turns up your volume or turns your volume down, um, and it does it on a global level, meaning it does it to the entire clip, as opposed to a portion of the clip. Now the video line right here. Uh, this is an opacity line for the video. Uh, right now it's fully opaque, you can't see through it. If you have layers that are below it, video layers that are below it, you'll see through it by doing this. You grab this and turn your opacity line down, and now it's about 50% opacity. Here it just gets darker because uh, it's see-through now, but there's nothing through, through the clip down below it, so it's just showing to the black that's behind it. Watch this if I delete this. Uh, it's just black that's behind the video. I'm going to undo. I'm going to undo my opacity, get it back to 100%. Now, you can do this um, over time. You can make the opacity turn up and down over time as opposed to the entire clip. And you can do it audio as well. You can turn the volume up and down as it plays. <clears throat> the way you do that is with the pen tool. You hit P for pen. Uh, come over, and it'll have this little plus button here as you get it near this opacity line. You click once, it adds a little dot to it. You move it down, you click again, adds another dot. What this does is, is you grab these things here, now if you hover your pen tool over these added, you'll see that little plus sign there to add, like that. If you hover over it and it does a circle, you can grab that keyframe and drag it down or up. Now what's going to happen is as this plays, your audio will get louder and then get quieter. So right here, it'll gradually turn up and gradually turn down as opposed to just turning straight up or straight down. It just, it gradually, it does it over time. So if you want to turn it all the way down, you can. Now my audio will slightly turn up and then turn down over time. So as you play, the audio will get louder. And then you'll notice if you're watching your um, meter over here, that the audio turns down until there is no audio at all. And we'll get into uh, the audio meter later on as well. But that's what the pen tool does. This also works for opacity. If you turn this, if you click on this and add a few dots, grab the middle one, pull it down, what it will do is it will it'll fade out and fade in, basically. So over time here, it hits this point, 100% opacity. Then it will gradually turn down to zero opacity, which is completely uh, uh, transparent. And in this case, since there's nothing below it, it basically looks like it just fades out to black. Fades to black, fades back. Uh, that's how the pen tool works. Now the hand. If you're using the hand, if you're zoomed up, the hand is um, handy, I guess, uh, in moving your timeline around. If you hit H for hand, or go over and click on it, you can simply reach out here in your timeline, grab it, and move it. I rarely use this because I mainly use the plus, minus, and slash key to navigate. Um, but yeah, with your hand here, you can move your timeline. I occasionally use this. I'll hit H and just grab it and just move it a little bit. Uh, but if you want to quickly navigate, usually I'm going to hit V for my arrow tool, for my selection tool. Just hit slash, and grab your playhead, get it exactly where you need to, zoom up, and start working on that area there. 
Um, once again, the slash above the return key and plus or minus zooms in, zooms out. Okay, um, that is basically the hand tool. It just helps kind of drag yourself around the timeline if you're zoomed up on a timeline. H for hand, move it around. Last tool here, zoom. Uh, I never use this, and the reason why is because I use the plus and minus and slash key. But what you can do is you can click on the Z, Z for zoom tool, and you click out on your timeline here, and it will zoom up. If you hold down option, notice it turns to a negative here. It's, really, it's a plus right now, but if you hold down option and click, it zooms out. Same thing happens. I'm going to hit V for my arrow tool, but if you just hit plus and minus, on your main part of your keyboard, not on your numpad, but on the main part of your keyboard, plus, zooms in, minus, zooms out. Slash fits all your clips. Uh, the slash above the return key forward slash fits all your clips into the viewable space. Um, but like I said, so I pretty much never use this. Another way you can do that is grabbing this bar down here and zooming in and zooming out right there. Just dragging it left and right will zoom in and out. And I really never use this either. So, because uh, the plus, minus, and the slash key seems to be the the fastest way to do that. Okay, next episode we'll be getting into a little bit more, we'll be getting into the trim window and start getting into a little bit more advanced editing.